<gasps> no way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This must be my lucky day. Okay, something's going on here. <laughs> oh, look at all the diamonds! <gasps> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh my god, I just had the best idea ever! What would Halloween Town be without a pumpkin patch? We need to go into our little pumpkin farm thing down there, collect a whole bunch of pumpkins, and... Oh my goodness, I think we can even turn it into a mini game of some kind. I am so excited and I have a ton of ideas, some of which even include that skeleton over there that just died. Oh, it's going to be so cool. I'm so excited for Halloween Town. I hope you guys are too. Let's get some things together and let's head on over to the brand new town. Can't be 100% sure, but I think that's going to be enough pumpkins for what we're doing here and oh my goodness would you look at our tools we need to stop by the little xp farm before we uh you know do anything otherwise we're gonna risk breaking our sweet sweet netherite tools and and that's no good thank you pig boys and of course we gotta ride down the tunnel together oh it's so cool i'm still oh i'm still thrilled with this thing oh it's it's so trippy it's so trippy to look at and this will be my first time going through the portal since I set up the pumpkin. Let's see if there's any new changes. All right, okay, so the fence looks like, looks to be extended. There's something going out this way. Oh, oh boy, okay. Hopefully there's no spoilers here. Uh, and there's something under the pumpkin. Okay, wow, people are, ooh, this looks really cool. Is this, this must be a custom tree. Wow, is this a void room? Ah. Oh. <laughs> How cool. All right, now we need to find a place to set up our uh, pumpkin thing. And I'm thinking that uh, the pumpkin here itself would be facing the front of town, the entrance, and that the pumpkin patch itself should also be there. Though we do got the bright patch there, which makes me feel like maybe it's not pointing towards it. So maybe, I don't know. I feel like that when you walk into town, you should be greeted by facing the pumpkin, which would be super cool. So maybe we will do it over this way somewhere. Let me uh, let me plot it out a little bit and uh, get things sort of figured out. So with the whole thing mapped out, you can see our pumpkin right there. And the direction the arrow is facing is also the same direction that the pumpkin is facing, which is, you know, kind of neat that that happened to work out. So it's pointing that way, right? This, this direction is that direction. Um, and then we have the big open patch area. For some reason in my mind, I keep thinking like Haunted Mansion in this area. Uh, that way it's, you know, it's, it has the most light on it. So it's the easiest thing to be seen. Um, and then down here where you see all this water, this is actually a swampland. So it's, it's doesn't, there's not as much water here as, as the map is making it out to, to be. There's actually a lot more like, you know, you know how swamps are. There's a couple pieces of dirt, then there's a water, then there's more dirt. So this, this area is more like that. So I'm kind of thinking that we'll turn this area into a pumpkin patch, a large area, and then we'll have, you know, as if as if the players are walking through the swamp, like they have to travel through the swamp to get into the beginning area, and then they'll follow the road, which will connect up right here. So when they do turn around that corner, they will still be facing the pumpkin. They'll be coming up this road right here. I think that's a good idea. We could also have it like branch out. So there will be, you know, the road will branch the other way. You can go to the whatever's going to be over there. And then we got the, of course, the cross section, these four other roads. Um, and then the swamp is also really nice because we could do like, you know, witch stuff out there maybe, you know, whatever we want to do with swamps. I could think of a lot of different things with swamps. We could turn it into like an ooze swamp, which would be really cool. Um, yeah, so lot, lots of cool things. Uh, I like the idea of the pumpkin patch being right there, so I'm going to go carve out all these trees, and it's going to be absolutely ridiculous because there's so many of them, and we're going to get to work. There, for everyone else's sake, I rotated the map, so, so now the map is true. Like, uh, according to the map, it's forward and to the left is the area, and in real life, it's forward and to the left is the cleared area. So, yeah, now this map actually reflects uh, how the world is actually laid out. Now, let's get to work.
Oh boy, while we were working away, this beautiful fog rolled in. I really like the Halloween district with a fog. I hope you guys like it too, because every time we come here, I'm thinking we have this fog, because it's gonna, I, I think it'll add a lot to the area, and I'm super excited for it. But you can see we've uh, got a, a huge area worked out. It goes all the way up over the other side. It's all coarse dirt, so you know, if it's, you know, it's, it, there's no grass that's going to be growing in here, which I think is a is a nice touch. Now we need to go through and start laying out all of these pumpkins. I have a ton of pumpkins, and we're just going to have to space these apart. And we're going to have to space them apart in such a way that we can eventually make a mini game out of this i th i'm th i'm thinking we do something along the lines of like um having a section inside of here fenced off and then inside the fenced section will be the game and that way you know we don't have this in the entirety of this place uh being harvested and uh, destroyed constantly for the game itself. Now, I'm sure you guys are wondering what the mini game is going to be. I am not a hundred percent on it right now but I'm thinking it's gonna be something along the lines of where you dig up random pumpkins off the ground right and if there is something under it then it's you know it's probably a prize like you 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 pay a pay pay pay, pay a number and then you you dig you dig a number and 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 then you maybe get stuff maybe the upside is we'll uh, we'll get to work with uh, Mario because he has another mini game he wants to work on that will be based around uh, tokens that you can redeem for prizes and I'm thinking it'd be pretty cool if in addition to our normal prizes uh, you could also win some of the tokens so you could win prizes from uh, his 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 thing specifically and then you can also play his version of the game and win tokens and then together we can go in on a prize board which I think will be really cool because then there'll be two of us working on prizes which means we can hopefully make some really awesome prizes so let's uh, let's figure out how we're gonna uh, divide this place up so we have a nice pumpkin uh, harvesting game and then uh, we, yeah we can go from there. It's always so helpful to plan things out first so I'm just using some uh, some birch birch logs here uh, planks birch planks that's what they are and essentially we're gonna have our pumpkin patch uh, mini game on these two layers so this top layer and the second layer and we'll have like a, a gate that goes around it and we'll have it uh, probably along the the top edge here the fence going all the way around and then the rest will just be normal pumpkin patch that won't be torn up by other players but everything on the inside will be a part of the game itself which gives us a ton of space honestly for the you know digging up the pumpkins and the birch planks themselves are going to denote some kind of road so we'll actually continue the fenceway uh bordering either side of the walkway so we'll actually you know put in some paths here instead of this uh, coarse dirt and you'll end up kind of zigzagging through the pumpkin patch until you get down down here and we're gonna do a little bridge across just a small bridge nothing fancy just to get over this this uh, one deep waterway and it will continue through into the forest now if we follow this I had it zigzag as well I don't know if we're gonna tear down the forest or not I kind of asked around a little bit yesterday how people felt about it should we tear down all of the trees because we primarily care about the color of the biome or should we keep the trees or should we tear down all the trees and make our own trees uh maybe dead trees so uh, it seems kind of split uh, uh amongst the afterlife members so why don't you guys tell me in the comments down below what you think would be better should we make our own custom trees should we leave the trees as is and tear them out uh as we need to as we need space or you know, you know what should we do and you'll notice that the pathway technically stops right here. Um, no idea why, but Artorvian thought it was a brilliant idea to plot his next build. Smack dab. Literally centered on the pumpkin where this, this roadway was clearly marked out. And he just decided that he wanted to you know, be right in the way of it. I've seen the build. Uh, it's going to be tall and thin on the bottom, so it probably won't end up being in the road itself I just thought this, that this was funny that this huge space was marked out and that uh, it just blocks off the roadway now something else I want to do regardless of if the trees stay or not is I want to do a kind of wall a sort of wall that borders the pumpkin patch with the rest of the uh, the rest of the area 
And I think it'd be pretty neat if we did something along the lines. Let's get a handful of these. We'll grab a handful of slabs. And we'll also get a handful of chains. Now, this wall has to be done a certain specific way. And let's pick this patch right here because it's, it's nice and flat and easy to work with. Um, but effectively, you know, we're going to have this wall randomly just kind of zigzagging its way along the edge where it's bordering pumpkin patch and and not pumpkin patch and then of course we can come back through and we can replace some of these guys with these other types of blocks so let's uh let's let's say we do a stair like that we'll maybe put a slab in like this and it's important that we leave these as a as the full top so we don't want to have a stair like this or a slab like that uh not so things can't walk through them necessarily but more along the lines of just having it uh, functional for the next part, which of course will uh, be with the chains. So with the chains here, we're going to use the chains and the pumpkins. So we're going to do just you know a couple of random chains at a time. We want, we're going to cover every single space. I haven't done this yet, so I have no idea how this is going to look. Um, and we want to face the outside here because we want that. Hopefully that'll work. I don't, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, and then we'll cover up all of these these parts. I'd say it's probably good. We only want to do a few bordering the entrance. So it's maybe four on this side, maybe three on the other side. Uh, and then we'll do you know, a couple up top if we can get it. Aha, like that. That one, maybe, maybe not that. We'll see. And that guy. And then we'll grab the shears. There we go, yeah, okay, so they are all facing the right way. And then uh, all these other chains that didn't have these and the tops of the pumpkins will also get a chain. Now the reason we're going with chains and not iron bars is because iron bars will connect to the sides of the pumpkins and we don't want that. Iron bars would look better here if they didn't connect. So they just they just have that one that one flaw. But there is something else that I wanna do with this and it's gonna take just a little tiny bit of work, so let me let me pull it off real quick, uh, so I can show you guys. And ultimately, we can end up with something like this. Now, admittedly, this is a pain in the butt. This took 20 minutes, 10 minutes a piece to get those guys up top. The copy paste feature in the book does not work. Uh, I really thought it'd be a lot quicker if I could, you know, just position, take the time, position one correctly, and then copy it. Put the next armor stand down, give it the arms, stick the thing in its arms, and paste. No, that does not work. The copy-paste feature of this statues book does not work for me. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about in utilities, uh, yeah, there's a copy and paste. Maybe this isn't what I thought it was, but uh, it says here, yeah, it easily says copying an armor stand stores the settings and pose into the book and then can be pasted into another armor stand. The book must be selected in your main hand or your off hand. Obviously it is, and it does not copy over. So either a broken feature or maybe there's some kind of settings or something, uh, and I, but either way, I, I can't just copy it. So I think this actually looks really cool. Let me let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Does it look cool? I, I kind of, it's it's basically the spike on top of the, the, the beam and then the carved pumpkins, of course, were carved and then just stuck on top of the spikes coming out of this wall. Uh, I think it looks really cool. This, the downside though is that this wall is gonna run on this side, admittedly not too far. It's just gonna come out over here and just kind of peter off and, and be the end of it. But the other side, the other side's a different story. We're gonna come to the other side of the road, we're gonna start roughly around here, and then it's going to run all the way around, zigzag through here, come back out this way, back down over here, up this way we're looking at like what a hundred hundred blocks of length possibly and end right up right about here it's about a hundred blocks of length each one takes around 10 minutes to do so i'm gonna be here for a while and a while it's been and you may notice that i am not using the blackstone stairs i am actually using anvils and that's because it's way way easier to do and i saved the very last one for us to do together so you can see just how easy these are, right? So you put your armor stand on the spot, perfect. And then we will give it arms. So next page, show arms, yes. It gets arms. You put the block in his hand and then, and then you do auto align, block on surface, 
done. You're already done. You don't have to do anything else. It automatically aligns it up and we can take a, a closer look at this. If we go into it and we go stand visible, yes, we can actually see how the armor stand gets moved, um, which is pretty cool. Um, it This does make it so if you are going to do it from left to right, it's really difficult because this armor stand, even invisible, still counts as being there. So you, you can't actually place the armor stand there. So you have to do it from right to left. Um, but otherwise, very, very simple. Let's go ahead and make this invisible and we're going to get back to working. Oh, and there's something like 92 armor stands set up here. So if any of the other afterlife members have any issues, just let me know. I can greatly reduce how many of these chains actually have tips. Just let me know. And now this next part requires me to die a whole lot. Ow. I'm an idiot. So I realized that we updated the statue book from 2.7 to 2.8 and that's why copy paste wasn't working. It's a little too late. I'm not going to go back and, and redo everything, but I did get a lot of work done and I think you guys are really going to like this. Oh yeah, it looks so cool. Look at all of that. Oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. Uh, yeah, we did have to die. Uh, 30 times because Mojang fixed the, the issue with, with player heads so they now retain whatever skin you had when when they when you when you acquired the head so we have scarecrows now and I was able to use the copy paste thing for each and every one of them because I'm still an idiot and the book updated yeah my bad um, yeah, this place is super decorated. We got the dead bushes. I've been looking at images of uh, pumpkin patches and there's a, there's usually like either a either a mixture of a lot of hay or just a, like a lot of like dead shrubbery left over from old pumpkins, that sort of thing. So that's kind of what we're going for with the dead bushes. And, uh, I, I just like the hay. I think the hay looks really nice. Otherwise the scarecrows kind of seen, they kind of stand out a little bit, a little awkwardly. Um, and, and the, having the wheat out there, this this hay, really, I think, helps tie them in. And just makes the whole place feel just a little just a little more full. Oh, it's, it's so good. Of course, you probably noticed we do we do have the sea pickles to complete some of some of the old pumps. And oh, it's it's nice. The scarecrows themselves are standing on carpets which underneath them have torches. This place is not mob proof. So that is super important for the other members to know this place is not mob proof. That's more just ambient lighting to help with all of it. And I just now realizing I didn't turn my fog on. My render distance was too high. You know, for having the fog set to absolutely minimum distance, having to change the render distance itself to make the fog actually appear super annoying. Very, very annoying. But you wake your way up here. We have the tree of the dead. I have some hanging heads which is really cool i had to of course go with the stray skeletons because they're the easiest to to get just on such short notice i suppose i could have done another thing where i you know made a skeleton of myself or whatever but that was a different idea i think the tree of the dead looks super cool big fan i love that there's some hanging heads in it really ties this place together and we are of course standing in the middle of the pumpkin patch where our mini game is going to be welcome to the pumpkin patch the rules, they're super easy. One diamond equals one pumpkin harvested. Keep what you find, return pumpkins. So, essentially, one diamond per one pumpkin harvested. So this place is going to be filled with pumpkins. And you can see we got four here. So I see four pumpkins, I pay four diamonds. So I'm just going to put four, you know, four diamonds in here, and then I can harvest four pumpkins. And so we go through and, of course, some of these you'll be able to tell like, oh, there's nothing actually there. I can see it. So some of them keep an eye out for, but you harvest it. Nothing. One diamond wasted. Oh, two diamonds wasted. And then sometimes you'll get really lucky and you'll find a whole diamond block. Maybe other goodies, you know. Uh, but, you know, you put four diamonds in, you get nine diamonds out. Seems like a pretty good deal. And then, of course, uh, not 100% not on this, but... Sometimes maybe we'll do shulker boxes where the contents or there'll be something pretty cool on the inside And of course they'll get to keep the uh, the, 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 the the shulker box itself. So yeah, I think that's gonna be the game. Um, this is not ready yet I'm going to uh, Get a pool of prizes together uh, Before the next episode. So of course I'll be announcing to the other members when it is 
active, so keep an eye out on everyone else's channels. They do have links in the description down below, and uh, yeah, hopefully you'll be seeing some pumpkin patch gamage happening soon. And remember to return your pumpkins. I'm gonna keep using the same pumpkins to rehide all new stuff. So if you guys steal my pumpkins, there's not gonna be any more game to play because I won't have pumpkins. That's not true, I have a pumpkin farm, but return your pumpkins. But guys, that is going to be it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I had a lot of fun working on this pumpkin patch. Oh, it's so cool. Again, any awesome Halloween ideas, please leave them in the comments down below. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Leave a like if you like, subscribe if you haven't. Share with your friends, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next one.